What unanswered questions remain and what research directions do you think are the most urgent involving uh, these patients with DFU and specifically Mm -hmm. in underserved communities? Yeah, so I think that there was this really great paper around uh, disparities in wound healing that I saw in a dermatology journal. And I actually wanted to do a study looking at is there a correlation between melanocyte deposition and wound healing? I think that would be really interesting to look at. There is some belief that darker skin, and that doesn't necessarily mean black because there are other people who have darker skin, but there's more drying of the skin, hence the fact that certain populations get more eczema. But is that, you know, contributing to why we see this disproportionate number of DFUs in black and brown populations? So that's something that I would be interested in learning more about. And again, in the dermatology literature, it's still um, a Pandora's box. So it'd be nice to look into that further. Interesting. Um, how do you see? So we've talked a little bit about um, the the mat, for example, that um, helps people catch um, ulcers quickly. How do you see technology, or how do you hope to see technology continue to be implemented to help people track mm-hmm. uh, their care and mm-hmm. and catch things preventatively? Absolutely. I mean, it's also about the glycemic control. So more access to people getting insulin pumps and continuous glucose monitors is needed. Um, and access to these things. But I just think we need to make life easier for people. Having diabetes is never easy. And I always tell my patients, you're in the driver's seat. I'm just in the passenger seat. You see me a few times a year and I'm here to help you. But I think we need to make it easy for people. We need to understand that some patients are not able to see their feet because of their weight, their mobility issues, their poor vision. And if we can come up with techniques to help people who may not have a significant other to look at their feet that they could actually see, we tell them, you can put a mirror on the floor. But again, if you have poor vision, you're not going to be able to see that. So working with uh, these different disabilities that people may have to help make their diabetes care a lot easier would be something wonderful. So hopefully we can get uh, funding for people who are working on these different modalities. Mm -hmm. 